Hey guys, it's Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Thanks for joining me today on this fractal cabled sock yarn video. So, I am absolutely crazy and this project took over a year. I did all the blending on the blending board, put all the fibers together. This is fleece from Hope Springs Farm and I hand dyed it, carded it, all of that can be seen in previous videos. I will try to link a few of them in here. Um, so each blending board ended up being one single. So I did the one I'm currently drafting was, was just one bad. I put each color on the blending board once, took it off, rolled it up like a giant roll egg, and now here I am drafting it. I did four different styles on the blending board and each one was fun to a bobbin. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't very good at this. I did not weigh out my uh, fibers before putting them on the blending board. So I had a different amount of each single, but I'm not worried about that if you're not worried about it. So everything got pre-drafted, all the roll eggs got pre-drafted and then I started spinning this the way I normally do and realized that I wanted to spin the opposite direction. So I had a little bit of a finagling that I've left in here. Um, so you guys get to see that. So while I'm fiddling with my wheel and getting everything set up, I wanted to say thank you so much to all the new subscribers and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy being a part of this uh, wonderful little community here. For those of you who have been leaving comments, thank you so much for those. They, you guys keep me going day after day, show after show, and it's absolutely wonderful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying today's video, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. So, back to the spinning. I did spin this super, super fine. And you can find a separate video where I showed how to spin. I think it's called Ultra Fine Singles. I think on the uh, spinner control card, this is considered frog hair, but I'm not entirely sure because I've lost mine. Um, yeah, those things don't do you any good if you lose them. The little, little um, wraps per inch key thing, whatever that thing's called. <laughs> I have forgotten. Anyway, so spinning did take forever and I'm only showing you the very first single where each color is one time through the single. Fractals are typically two or three ply. This is a four ply. So the first single has each color once. The second single has each color twice and that's in rollag form and so it's more than that. And then the third single has each color I think three times and the rollags broken into rollags and then the fourth one is like four repeats of the color on the blending board and made into rollags. So we're going from one long color that goes through the entire skein down to um, or, sorry, one repeat, like a gradient, down to multiple uh, repeats of the color, um, getting gradually smaller and smaller, and that's what makes a fractal. So, um, and I really enjoyed this spin, but it was super, 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 super slow. <laughs> My antique uh, New England flax wheel built in the 1800s only gets about 11 to one ratio. And I get that for flax, that's perfect. But for wool that you're trying to spin into ultra fine lace, you know, the two plies were lace weight. Um, that was a little bit crazy to do that on this wheel. And that's why I didn't work on it very often. And so it took a year. But you know, these things happen. So I'm going to put on some music and then I will be back for the plying.
All right, so here we are doing the first stage of plying. When you are cabling a yarn, there is the spinning of the singles and then the first plying and then the second plying. And every transition changes direction. So for the singles, um, I spun the direction I wanted my yarn finished in since there's three rounds of spinning. Um, so I did counterclockwise. Now I'm plying clockwise, but I'm plying the double amount of um, twist that I need. And that takes forever. It was for one particular length of yarn, 10 treadles and then 10 to 12 treadles. And um, I ended up making two of these two plies and they took forever. This wheel is the Bay Production Wheel and gets a 34 to one ratio on the high speed whorl, which is what I was using. These are the lace bobbins. And uh, it just, it took forever. And I had to cross thread the flyer to uh, relieve some of the tension on the yarn to make the whole process a little bit easier. Anyway, um, I was only able to do about 30 minutes at a time before my legs started killing me. Um, but it eventually got done. Second plying didn't take anywhere near as long because you're taking the um, extremely over plied two plies and you're plying them together um, counterclockwise in this video um, to create that cabled effect. And I thought I got a clip of me showing how to reach that perfect cabled look. But unfortunately, I think my camera was not on when I showed when I filmed that. So obviously I didn't film it, but I will put some pictures in here. Um, and I actually, I didn't even try to ply for the cabled. I just tried to ply for a good yarn and decided to deal with however that turned out. But most of it turned out pretty neat looking. So there is a sweet spot to find with cabled yarns in that final ply. Uh, and it can be a bit difficult, so experiment, slow down, look at it, twist it back and forth in your fingers until you see the perfect cabled look, and then that's your sweet spot. Well, this video was fun to make. The yarn was a pain to make, but I'm happy to have it done, and I hope to eventually turn this yarn into socks. Uh, I did end up with a lot more yarn on one of the overplied two plies than the other, and I have yet to decide what I'm going to do with that extra yarn. Figure it out later. You guys have a fantastic day. I'm going to turn some music on and let you enjoy the finish of this, and at the very end, there will be pictures of the final yarn before and after washing. Mm -hmm.